panda 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 I'm gonna see the pandas Morning guys and it is actually morning despite the colour of the sky um, but yeah um, so what's happened since last time I saw you guys um, I left Xi'an um, on a train Oh no, actually I'll go back to uh, Mount Huishan. <coughs> so on uh, Mount Huishan you get the shuttle uh, back from the north entrance to um, to the main entrance and the shuttle stops sort of in this car park. The bloke gets on and says, bus to Xi'an, bus to Xi'an. I was like, okay, bus to Xi'an, that's what I need. Um, so I got on the bus and uh, I think sort of like after about 10 minutes, I kind of realised that it wasn't actually the official bus and that ended up taking me, well, I ended up uh, taking an extra hour to get back um, to Xi'an, so three hours as opposed to two. And also it took me to the wrong train station, it took me like, to one outside of the town. So um, I had to then get the metro back into town. Um, so yeah, and then, um, when I booked a ticket at the train station, they only had seats left. Um, so I was like, okay, I just need to get here. So I decided to go seat for 16 hours. Um, so I didn't get a bed. Um, yeah, and no, I kind of uh, snuck back into my old hostel. Because um, I had about five hours in between me getting back to Xi'an and getting the uh, train uh, to Chengdu. So yeah, I snuck back into my old hostel to use a shower and um, charge all my stuff and uh, use their internet um, yeah then got on the train um, which was uncomfortable bearable but uh, yeah I wouldn't advise traveling 16 hours on a seat um, in China again um, so yeah then um, yeah then pretty much that's what happened, but sat on a train, I got some sleep. Um, I don't really know how much because the seats were very uncomfortable. And I was on the um, aisle seat, so I can't really lean against anything. And the seats are like bolt upright. Um, so, yeah, they're pretty uncomfortable. Um, yeah, then arrived in Chengdu yesterday, um, about lunchtime. Just found myself a hostel, I didn't bother booking anything. I found out that um, actually if you just turn up at a hostel it tends to be cheaper, about half the price. Um, but obviously then you run the risk of not having a reservation and not being able to um, actually stay there. Or end up paying more for a more expensive room. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, arrived in Chengdu yesterday, af yesterday afternoon. Um, I just sat and chilled the afternoon because I didn't really sleep very well on the train um, and plus hiking the mountain for two days I was absolutely knackered so uh, yeah I just sat and chilled for two days uh, for the afternoon I was to say um, I had to grab some food in the hostel which is ridiculously cheap but it was quite poor quality um, yeah edited a video got another video uploaded so just sat there and done that all afternoon and now it's today and it is 6.30 in the morning. Um, I'm trying to get myself to the uh, Panda Sanctuary here. Apparently by taxi only costs 31, um, which isn't too bad, but the bus is even cheaper, so if I can get the bus, um, then that's what I want to do. Um, but I've got to find the right bus, and um, I've got to change as well, so I've got to make sure that I get off at the right stop. So yeah. I'm going to find the bus station now and get the bus. Okay, so I made it to the uh, Panda base. Um, I went to the bus station and um, I asked how to, there was a woman who spoke a little bit of English and I said, oh, how do you get to the Panda base? And um, like my, the directions that I got off the internet um, were wrong apparently. Um, and I had to go down the road to a bus stop um, and get another bus and um, and then transfer at some station but I didn't quite understand so I was cheated and got a taxi um, but I'm not sure what time it opens um, because it's now about 25 past 7 
and I'm pretty sure they open at half seven but it doesn't look like they're going to be open in five minutes so it might be half eight um, yeah I was kind of um, anticipating like it's about on like they say roughly about an hour and a half on the bus by the time you change and stuff like that um, but yeah I'll just have to wait around so yeah the, the taxi wasn't too bad it was 37 one which is like three pounds seventy um, but obviously the bus would be a lot cheaper so I think going back to Chengdu will be a lot easier because I can kind of even if I get the wrong bus I can still sort of find my way between um, like the places if I actually get into Chengdu so yeah I just have to wait till this opens now and uh, then go in. Made it into the panda base. Um, uh, it does open at 7.30 so I don't have to wait around too long, I have to wait around for five minutes so but yeah um, it's like empty which is really nice. I was like the third person in um, so yeah but hopefully the pandas will be up soon. Um, I think it's feeding time around like 9, 9.30 and that's when they're, they're at their most active so yeah we'll have to wait around and it's for the pandas I think, I'm not sure if they'll be up yet or not. Okay so I just came around to the main enclosure um, and you can just see inside the cages and they're still asleep. I don't know if you can see, just making out there that but yeah he's still asleep so uh, I'm just going to wait around for a little bit. Okay so I'll just walk around a bit, um, there's nothing up yet and i come to the uh, the delivery light area. All the curtains are up, but there's a little gap in the curtain. Sort of see the pandas, look, they're sleeping. Little baby pandas. There's our goat. Oh my god. There is their light asleep. Oh, that's our goat. Look at them. They're over there. Oh my god, panda! waiting for all the pandas to wake up. They're taking a while. I think they should have an alarm clock and uh, all get up. I think all pandas are uh, camera shy because every time you go to take a photo of them they turn away like as soon as you pull the camera out they're like nope that's it. But yeah just watching the uh, red pandas run around chasing them after each other I think it's like nearly feeding time because they're all going down towards the door sort of thing so yeah it's cool, I'm not the only person here pretty much. I haven't seen any other tourists um, since I walked through the entrance. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, one's trying to escape. Go, go, go! Damn it. Try harder next time. Okay, so this guy was standing right there, literally just staring for minutes. I come over, pull out my camera, and what does he do? He runs away. Bloody camera shy pandas. My calves are still really sore from them. Um, hike in the mountain uh, the other day and uh, these hills steps aren't helping one bit <laughs> found some baby pandas they're in there look, look at them they're so cute they start really nice um, they're in the boxes at the back I'm not, not sure what they were doing feeding them or something like that um, but they saw me coming along and they uh, got them out of the boxes and put them in the uh, little crib but they're so cute I never notice if I steal one <laughs> This one here, the grey one, the uh, one on the left, um, was a little bit grumpy. Every time he got poked or picked up, he had a go at the uh, zookeeper. I'm guessing that these are mummy pandas because they're like in the uh, by the delivery ward thing. So they're just in there eating, munching away for their breakfast. <laughs> Like human-like in the way they do everything, the way he's just sitting there chilling, 
where he like foraged through the little pile of bamboo and just grabbed a bit and it's like using both hands and yeah it's so cool. Ken if you want to um, get to hold a panda but it's actually quite expensive uh, to do. I have to pay a quite a big donation um, to the park to actually be able to hold a panda. But unfortunately I, don't, I, I would do but I just don't have the money like to spare sort of thing. Um, so maybe if I come back to China um, I'll come back and hold a panda maybe. Just come to the uh, the veterinary hospital in the uh, research space and there's nothing going on which I suppose is a very good thing. Uh, means that there's no pandas ill or anything like that. We've got some skeletons here of the uh, giant pandas. In case you ever wanted to know what a panda looks like on the inside. I also got like some uh, samples, um, a lot of from like dead pandas like this one. Red panda died of lung cancer. Um, and that's like a little thesis. I'm guessing they're worms or something like that. Sort of, uh, <coughs> they're doing the well. Here's a panda research base, so I suppose it's oh, floor slippery. Um, I suppose it's uh, what they're here for to research pandas and like learn how to make them better because they are endangered. So, this is why you come first thing in the morning. Massive line for the uh, nursery, um, but yeah, they won't open it earlier, so um, come back to the main one. Uh, just have a look. Yeah, so it's not really busy. I mean, you can just wait a few minutes to get a good photo, sort of thing. So yeah, it's not so so bad. But I'm sure, like much later in the day, um, it'll get a lot worse. So it's only just got nine now. Um, but yeah, definitely get here for when it opens at seven thirty. Even come. I'm very very happy that I came uh, at seven thirty when it opened. Yeah, it's absolutely rammed. Now. I'm starting to get a lot more busy. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's been a couple of hours in there. Uh, the panda started going to sleep around 9.30, like just before 9.30. So if you want to see him up and active, get there before 9.30. Um, yeah, and then you can actually see him up and uh, walking about. Now we've got to try and find a way back to Chengdu. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I might just have a look around Chengdu. I, know I need to get some, um, some more socks because I left some um, in Qian accidentally. Um, yeah, I just let when I, after I washed them, I left them out to dry, and I just forgot to pick them up again. So that was a bit of a bummer. So I've been looking for them, and I realised yesterday, so I've got to say. So uh, yeah, um, yeah. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do or how I'm going to get back. So we'll see. Might be a taxi again, but I like to just get the bus because it's a lot cheaper. Okay, so I've got the bus um, back to the train station. Um, so I know that there's a metro station here, so I can easily uh, get back. So I'm going to uh, visit a few things on the way back to the hostel. Um, well, I'll just see what's sort of on the route back and uh, visit them. Um, so yeah, it's still early. Yeah, it's still only well, it's just before 11 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, I'm jump on the metro and um, see uh, what's about really. See what I can do with my day. Okay, so I've just come down to uh, Manchuri. Uh, monastery. I just have a look because it was a couple of stops down in the metro, so I decided just to uh, come down. And yeah, it's really, really busy. Um, no, it's nice. It was free to come in, so uh, it's, uh, I would have just come down and sort of like had a look at the area because it's sort of like a, quite an old area around it. Um, if I had to pay, but it's free, so I decided just to come in. Um, all of the temples, well, much of the temples are quite similar so like, that's the reason why I wouldn't have paid to come in so I've seen quite a lot of temples here in China um, but yeah it's uh, just come in and have a look around give me something to do for a half an hour or so
inside the um, monastery like uh, gated area there's this um, they've got a couple of stalls giving away um, like there's free tea and there's uh, free food over there as well so um, but the line's massive for the food so I grabbed myself some free tea um, and I put some donate up put a donation in the box um, just because you know nothing's free really um, but yeah that's the queue for the food it's absolutely huge yeah it's really nice this monastery it's sort of still a fully functioning monastery and like, um, like there's uh, monks and stuff in here so like it's fully staffed so yeah it's really really nice and it's all so it's not um, pristine like a lot of the monasteries you go to um, it's not fully rebuilt it's all like used and stuff like that so it's really good um, yeah it's just nice to sort of walk around the place and enjoying it so you're going to head on um, down a couple more metro stops now to see um, what we can uh, what else we can find really just come outside the uh, temple or the uh, monastery I should say um, and there's this whole folk, uh, folk and experiencing zone there's loads of sort of like small uh, alleyways and stuff like that selling all kinds of uh, different stuff which is uh, makes a change it's very touristy but it makes a change compared to uh, just a normal sort of tourist streets um, selling all kinds of different stuff so yeah, it's really nice Okay, so I got off at um, a central stop in uh, Chengdu uh, to see the statue of Mao. Um, it's in front of the Science and Technology Museum. Um, and I'm going to head down to um, People's Park now. Um, and then I'm going to head to the uh, shopping street um, to get some like socks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure which way it is. So, But like the shopping street's on one side of the square and the... Um, People's Park's yard, so I'm going, going to end up, uh, end up at one no matter what. So, but yeah, it's turned into an absolutely beautiful day, lovely day, and uh, so yeah, really enjoying it here in Chengdu. It's got a nice vibe to it. I think it's sort of it's a good mix of sort of like traditional and modern. Um, it's not like overly modern like Shanghai, and it's not sort of overly traditional like Beijing. Um, but yeah, sort of. I think there's a good mix here. So I went the right way for People's Park. It was only like literally a stone's throw away from the main square. So I'm gonna walk around here for a bit. Um, yeah, and see what it's like. Because uh, Chinese know how to do a park, I think, or from my impression so far. So yeah, I'm sure I won't be disappointed. I don't know if you can hear that sort of eternal rumble of mix of music in the background. There's so much going on here. It's like a circle in the middle, um, and there's dance in the middle of that, so we've got music for that. And then there's four different sort of like corners of the uh, circle, not corners, but like sec uh, under cover areas um, going around the circle. And each one of those has a karaoke um, like little bar in it. Um, and then all the way around the outside, there's people singing, there's people dancing, there's more karaoke, there's bands playing. So, so loud. <laughs> Such a like a mind fuck for the senses because walking through it, it's just a clash, it completely clashes with each other. Um, so, yeah, it's quite funny, but it's very, very loud. In one of the corners of People's Park, they built sort of like a mini sort of like fairground sort of thing, and it looks horrible. <laughs> it looks so run down, like you just wouldn't trust any of it at all. So, yeah, like the roller coaster, they've got sort of like some guy just hammering it with a hammer. Um, I don't know what he's doing, I'm probably trying to fix it um, or do something to it, but yeah, it's all looks so run down and rusty here. Like, you wouldn't trust any of the rides. Okay, so I just come down um, from the park, I walk down from the park to the um, shopping area, sort of thing. Every single um, sit in. China that I've been to so far has its own sort of like shopping area, sort of high street sort of thing. Um, and obviously there's like shops everywhere apart from that. But um, I just walked through um, off the main sort of street down an alleyway and there's this sort of like old preserved area. It's really cool. Um, I think it was uh, originally built as part of like a Christian um, association. Um, and yeah, and they've just preserved it. It's pretty cool makes a change from the hustle and bustle of a uh, shopping area. The shopping areas are really funny because um, like, well, here, here it's sort of like four main um, sort of like roads or paths sort of thing. 
um, and down every sort of, it's like a crossroad sort of thing, down every branch of it, um, you get the same shop, so you only have to do sort of like one part of it. So, yes, yeah, quite easy to go shopping in China. And just dark again. Um, went back to the hostel after uh, coming up to the shopping street. Um, it was really strange because I was just walking down. I didn't realise how close it was to my hostel. Um, I literally just walked out one end of it and I was going to like, oh, I recognise that metro station, that's the one I came out yesterday. I was like, oh, it's actually like literally right next to my hostel, pretty much. So yeah, but I've already left my hostel once. Um, I'm going to put train tickets for tomorrow, for tomorrow night. Um, but you need your passport and I forgot. Hello. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I forgot. Um, so yeah, I had to go back to the hostel, but I didn't get too far though. So I only got like five minutes walk away from the hostel. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to book train tickets um, and then I'm going down to a uh, bridge. There's a bridge, um, sort of like an old, old fashioned bridge sort of thing. So I'm going to go down and see that and while I'm there going to grab something to eat. It's near sort of like a uh, restaurant -y area. So I'll grab something to eat there. Um, but yeah, today's been quite a busy day. Um, I've actually got quite a lot done today. I suppose it's probably something to do with getting up about like, six in the morning uh, to go to the panda base. Probably has quite a lot to do with it. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to get my tickets for tomorrow. Hopefully I can get a bed for overnight. It would be very good if I could get a bed. Um, it's not a seat we'll have to do. Um, yeah, we'll see. I've got to get uh, two tickets. I've got to get one to one place and I've got to change over. Um, to like a different train, uh, so yeah, I hope you can both here. Okay, so I enjoyed um, doing 16 hours on a seat so much, I decided to do another 14 hours on a seat again. Um, no, I'm just kidding, uh, yeah, I only, only had seats left again, um, and I even booked it the day before, so you know, so you have to book it really early if you want to uh, make sure you get a bed. Apparently, but I've been like I thought these were just well, maybe they run less trains, but like between Beijing and Shanghai and Xi'an, um, but they were fine, like I've got beds, no problem. So, um, which I would have thought would have been a busier route, but obviously, they probably run more trains between the two or between them. So, uh, but yeah, I've got tickets anyway. So, tomorrow night at about like, roughly six. In the evening to Zhang Jiaji. Um, I think is the correct way of saying it. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, when I was editing my videos earlier, well, I said this probably a couple of days ago, but yeah, my computer's still playing up, so I can't figure it out. I want to do a um, repair install on it, but I'll lose some uh, applications and programs. So I'll probably wait until I get to. Um, Hong Kong, I want to get proper internet back um, to actually do that. So I don't want to run the risk of uh, not being able to download some programs because if they're, they're blocked in uh, China. So uh, yeah, I'll just have to grin and bear it. Um, yeah, the uh, quality of the videos isn't well up to what I would like it to be anyway. Um, there's a few uh, bits and pieces that I can pick at in like the last few videos that I've edited while it's been playing up so but yeah it's okay at least I'm managing at least I can still edit videos it's not a major problem it's just a bit I can't edit them properly so yeah oh well anyway gone got to go and find me so something to eat um, I'm just walking down the waterfront really um, so yeah I'm gonna find something to eat and then Head back to the hostel. Actually, I might go to a bar, maybe. We'll see if there's any decent bars about. Okay, so I made it to the bridge. Oh, you can see it there behind me. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'll probably cross over the road um, and then walk down the other side of the river. Uh, seems to be a lot going along that over there. Probably grab something to eat, maybe in one of the bars. Um, but yeah, then we'll head back to the hostel, probably. So I'll probably. Uh, say goodnight here um, so thanks for watching guys um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and I'll catch you next time